Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. We really appreciate that, so thank you. Well, I always enjoy talking to people. Happy to come here. Your lecture at yes. ICM 2018, what's it about? It's about a fundamental problem which relates mathematics and physics. It's been around for a long time. And in a sense, it's a, uh, about some mysterious number that appears in physics, which is obviously a mathematical number, and nobody knows where it comes from. Well, I've solved that problem just as of yesterday, you know, hot off the press. And I found it by going back to first principles, but using all the ideas that have been developed in the meantime. We, we, as things go forward, you have new ideas, new machinery, you've got Isaac Newton and all that, Clark Maxwell, and out of all that, there's a whole new uh, higher order set of ideas. So you've got to sort of extract from that the crucial ingredients, package them right, and there it is. Hey, presto. You make it sound very simple. Well, I believe in simplicity. Now, a lot of people don't do that because First of all, they, they like to um, hide behind formulae. You put it in formula, look how clever I am. You don't understand this. No, no, I don't like that at all. A really good idea, you should be able to explain to the man in the street. My task is to talk to an audience of 4,000 people of all kinds and tell them something new and exciting. Well, it sounds fascinating. Yeah. Now, can I take you back a little bit in your career where you've worked very closely with physicists? Yes. Tell us how that came about. Well, I was always at an amateur interest in physics. The real breakthrough came when I was doing some mathematical work with some colleagues, and suddenly somebody said, well, look, what you're doing looks very similar to what the physicists are doing, and you should get together. So I flew over to uh, Harvard, MIT. I had a little session with some of the guys there. Hey, Preston, we realized we were doing the same thing, and I had a better way of doing it. So I immediately became a physicist. Well, slight simplification. And that would give you a... a, a a much uh, better opportunity, should I say, to actually tackle some, some more real-world problems because you're uh, a wider collaboration, maybe. You need to have some motivation and aim. And at that stage, my aim was to understand physics properly. And a lot of mathematics has been applied in the past, but it was sort of a bit piecemeal here and there, and I wanted to go back to the basics and come up with something radical. And I think I've done it now. So what are you excited about now? Coming to this conference, I'll go to all the talks. Marvellous new stuff's been happening in my absence. But every talk I've been to here gives me ideas. I, I could do that better, I could do that better. So I'm going to go in. So I, I've, got, I've got a lot of tidying up to do before I leave this world. There are a lot, a lot of young mathematicians yes. who come to... Where have you any advice for them? First, um, listen to what your elders say. Your teachers, your conferences, listen to what they say. Then. Think about it yourself and follow your own path. So listen, be well informed, but if you want to do some original ideas, you've got to think yourself. And go off and do whatever you like. And you have to enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, don't passionate about it, you won't get anywhere. And you have to be prepared for a rocky way on the journey. You can't achieve anything without a struggle. But if you like it, stick to it and go ahead. The future is for the young people. Well, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. We really appreciate Delighted. it. Delighted. Come to my lecture. We'll do. <laughs> ICM TV is brought to you from the 2018 International Congress of Mathematicians in Brazil. So for more like this, click on some of these great videos and don't forget to subscribe for more from the best in science, from everything from mathematics to physics, geophysics and engineering.